Hey folks, welcome back. So I'm doing a bit of a road trip today. I'm actually going to uh, Pechaburi. It's about uh, two hours southwest of Bangkok. Um, I'm going to drive down. I'll stick a map up to show you where I am. Uh, you can get the sort of the train down there or the bus, but I'm going to drive. Uh, I'm going to visit the Summer Palace and I'm going to stay in a nice bed and breakfast down there I found. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go and see how we get on. we go. Petra Brewery, a couple of hours. Hopefully the traffic won't be too bad. And we're not going to get lost. It's amazing what you see on the roads. That must be some sort of record for the most hay bales in a truck. So I must have been driving in Thailand, not actually that bad. Um, the driver is like on the left like we do in Britain. Uh, obviously if you're not in British it might be more tricky but... So once you're outside Bangkok it's uh, an expressway that takes you down most of the way to uh, Wahi and it's, uh, they're actually building a new sort of sky train um, but it doesn't really affect the traffic too much. So we made it, it took uh, just over two hours, we didn't get lost at all. Um, there was plenty of places to stop along the way for coffee and use the bathroom and things. Yeah, so when you get here, you can uh, you can either walk up or uh, you can get the funicular. Um, it's 230 baht, including entrance uh, into the museum. So when you arrive and you get off the cable car, um, there's lots of, sort of pathways that lead you uh, around the various buildings. I mean the place is huge and you could spend all day sort of walking around. They do give you a free map and a guide, um, so yeah you sort of pick out the various bits and uh, off you go. So the museum itself, um, unfortunately you're not allowed to take photographs, um, but you can see how it's sort of decorated. It was used mainly by King Rama IV uh, to entertain his guests. So this was the home and summer palace of King Rama IV. Um, construction started in 1859 and was finished in 1862. So Petra Bura is known for its sort of temples uh, and sort of uh, there's a big cave. Um, I did a video on that um, previously. Um, and it's in between sort of Bangkok and Wai Hin. It's, it's almost about halfway, so it's quite a good stopover point if you're going down to Wai Hin. And apparently, this was the first uh, palace to be uh, constructed or located on a hill in Thailand. There's lots of signs saying beware of the monkeys. Um, there were a few, but it wasn't too bad. Whether they've had a clear out recently. So the views up here are quite incredible. You can see right the way across Petraburi um, for miles and miles. and you can actually see the mountains of Kanchanaburi. So the palace is spread over three separate hilltops uh, with panoramic views over Pechaburi and the surrounding countryside. Buildings tend to have a mix of Thai, European and Chinese design. Uh, King Rama IV and Rama V used it as a summer palace uh, and a place to entertain many important guests. In 
Yeah, so if you're looking for something a little bit different and a day out from Bangkok, you could almost come and you know visit this in a day and go back. Uh, it's definitely worth a look around. It's uh, there's so much to look at here. So I'd say the best time to visit is probably uh, first thing in the morning uh, where the temperatures are a little bit cooler up here. Uh, by sort of lunch time it started getting quite warm again. There were sort of like various seated areas and shaded areas you could you could take a break. It reminds me of the Great Wall of China, the way it's up and down like this. I come here and it's raining. Great White Pagoda. Seems to be something inside. And there you go, we're back. There's a tourist information centre and the cable car is back down that way. So this is the hotel I stayed, it's called Dad Far. Um, it was 1200 a night, including breakfast. Breakfast was served at, I think 7.30 was the earliest they do. Uh, you sort of order from a menu and it's delivered to the uh, rooftop diner. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice little hotel for a night. Um, super clean, you know, the staff are nice and friendly. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're in the in the location, give this one a go.